morning, distinguished guest, Mr. Kush Kapoor. Morning, morning. director, ma'am, Ms. Archana Jasula, Inspector Registrar, sir, Mr. Sudhir Badula, my esteemed colleagues, and dear students. I am Ram Agarwal, your host of the day. Good morning. I am Anup Semwal, your co-host for the day. I would like to welcome each one of you to today's webinar session on best tips in life to be the best, which is going to be presented by Mr. Kush Kapoor. Mr. Kapoor is the CEO of Rosette Hotels and Resort. Mr. Kapoor has started his career as a room boy with the Trident Udaipur and Trident Cochin after completing his hotel management diploma from IHM Hyderabad. Over 22 years of experience in hospitality industry, Mr. Kapoor has covered the most iconic hotels during his hospitality career across India, including Obrai Hotels, the Taj Group of Hotels, and the Leela Group. Starting his career from a room boy, a laundry valet, to a steward, to a matrimonial agent, he launched Rosette Hotels and Resort brand in India in 2016 which has become now an iconic luxury hotel brand in India. He has been awarded with the Innovative Hotelier of the Year in India, 2010, award by Hotelier India. Other awards include Five Star Diamond Award by American Academy of Hospitality Sciences for 2009-10, Best Hotel, Best Convention Hotel, and Best Spa Hotel in India for several years by Bloomberg International. Best Hotel for Business Travel by Safari India. National Tourism Award in 2010. Best New Spa in India by ACI Spa for 2009-10 and 2010-11. Best Coffee Shop, Best Bar, Best Indian Speciality Restaurant, Best Italian Speciality Restaurant in the City by Times Food Guide during his stint at Leela Campency Hotel and Residence, Gurugram. Rosette House, New Delhi is the first FSSC certified hotel in India and fifth in the world. The first QCI audit certified hotel in India. In addition to the above, Mr. Kapoor was a certified departmental trainer from Taj corporate office and has been on the panel for the inspection and classification of the hotels in NCR region by Hotel and Restaurant Association of North India Committee. Mr. Kapoor has been benchmarked Six Sigma Green Belt, Black Belt Trainer, Master Black Belt, and he has completed Psychology Certificate course from Oxford, Tai Chi from Harvard University, XLR Certificate in HR from XLRI Jamshedpur, General Managers Program from Connor University. His mantra to success is, believe in yourself, be transparent, innovative, passionate and simple. Now, I would like to invite Mr. Kapoor. It's over to you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Ram. Thank you so much. And thanks to the entire faculty for giving me an opportunity. I mean, that was a very uh, long, uh, probably brief about me in that case. So I'll try my best to do uh, whatever I've learned over the last uh, just 22 years. And I always keep saying that my journey has not even started. It's yet to start right now. So I'm still making my base right now. There's lots to do in life, more out there. Uh, so I uh, chosen this topic actually because I, I uh, was told that there are a lot of hotel management students plus these students from different streams also. So I thought let's not let's bring everybody together and let's not only talk about hotel hotel. There will be talks about hotels for surely. Please ask as many questions as Mr. Ram has asked you on the WhatsApp, and I'll be happy to answer maybe by the end of this thing. I'll give you my WhatsApp number, my email ID, my LinkedIn profile, and everything. You're free to connect with me anytime, whenever you want. The more I'm able to help people, the more I'll, I'll be happy on that part. So uh, we'll, we'll take a beginning from here, uh, where Mr. Agarwal has just mentioned on that part. So I always tell people, believe in yourself, and I'm going to probably justify that in the next couple of slides for you. Uh, for me, when somebody asks me, what are your basic tips in life, and how have you grown, where you've grown, what are your probably future projections for your own growth, I always use these words, tips. Now, at times, I've got those tips also from people where they've tried giving me money because they thought I was asking tips from them, actually. But I, I told them, I said, no, it's not that tips. It's basically, T for me stands for transparency. And it's a very simple, simple word. You know, whatever you're doing in your personal life or professional life, if you are transparent, your fear factor already goes out from your body or your mind. 
so just imagine if whatever you do you do with your 100% uh, diligence out there you don't have anything to hide out there be it your personal or professional life you seriously do not need to have i mean a uh, fear factor of anybody you're not afraid of anybody so your life becomes much much better the moment you start hiding things you st start getting more excuses and you start figuring it out different options to hide that factor more on that part second is my innovation uh, i stands for innovation and i try uh, telling all my colleagues my uh, probably uh, friends my students whatever you are doing make sure there is something innovative out there so any product or even any service you introduce you make sure you always innovate and keep innovating you know uh, in the last 6 months i mean i have taken this covid time as the most productive time for my own life personally and professionally because i can always tell you these courses what mr agarwal has just mentioned most of these courses i've actually done during this time and obviously that was odd as late in the night or early in the morning hours but i was able to manage that passion see whatever you are doing you do it with passion otherwise there's no charm and there's no love of doing that thing uh, if you keep looking at your watch that is 9 o'clock and at 6 o'clock i have to go home that's your job that's not your passion and that's not your love and you will never get 100% out of that basically and as for simple our life is absolutely simple we human beings make it too much complicated so keep life as simple as possible always remember when the students are you guys are passing out when you get into the hotels you get into different companies your main role will be to do selling right to satisfy your customer always remember your customer is also a human being if you are able to make the process and the uh, your products as simple as possible for the customer to handle and understand and properly utilize you yourself will be on a much better scale of life also uh, there is a three letter word which i always would uh, request everybody to remember if you are able to manage that you know that's the toughest job and the most easiest job in the world and this is a three letter word which i always tell people and i have actually utilized that for the last 24 years i'm still trying to improve on that part uh, it's ego e g o you know we all have egos uh, some of us have huge egos and somebody somebody has been able to manage that uh, if you are there in a business you're trying to probably grab a new customer or you're trying to retain an old customer all you need to is do a manage your ego of a person you know we have families at our home we do have fights in our homes when we come to the college or the schools or the, or at work we do have these arguments at the workplaces and it's bound to happen if human beings are there it's bound to happen we see one person is growing better than the other person is only because that person is capable enough to manage the ego of the other people you know it's a very simple word but your entire world revolves around that you had a fight with your best friend you know why because of small thing because your best friend didn't wish you on your birthday they didn't took out you to a party so that's an ego thing which comes out there your boss didn't give you good marks so you have an ego or your boss boss has a ego with you against you if i am able to manage the ego of the other human beings i can do anything because then that person actually will start doing things for me all right uh, moving to the next slide let's uh, take it one by one probably on that part yeah now let me come through uh, i do a lot of study uh, even as a hotel management student i've done a lot of uh, study not on my own i have picked up things from the google actually and that's the fastest and the easiest way to learn uh have a look at the things about your own self what you do into your entire life right so these are the facts you can actually check out in the google imagine you are going to live 75 78 or 80 years of life you will spend 33 of your life years only in sleeping so you actually spend more than one third part of your life in sleeping so that's gone so i'm just trying to understand in those 24 hours in a day how much time do i have to be more productive and get better for my own growth 12 years i spend on the work screen time is the best we indians have are very good in cut copying and pasting things from the abroad right so when the mobile was introduced we we guys didn't knew when the tv was introduced we had no tvs in the last 20 30 or 40 years now everything is available in india a normal human being in today's time including indians and you can actually check the time on your mobile screen you can easily check it out on your android or i mean our even an apple phone an average person spends between 6 to 8 hours every day on the mobile and that's quite a surprising fact and then you know we always keep telling each other that i'm too busy in life if you're going to spend so much time on your screen time you obviously are going to be busy in life so let's let's understand you spend 5 years of your lifetime eating 3 years in holiday 1 year in exercise 1.5 years obviously you got married you got boyfriend girlfriend and you spend in the romance 1.5 years you keep on gossiping things around we all do being human beings and the balance 8 years of your life you actually go to school get ready cleaning and commuting 
So if I help everybody to understand, I got 24 hours in a day, let's shorten it to 24 hours. I spend seven to eight hours on mobile. So let's assume seven to eight hours on mobile. I take about six to eight hours in sleep. So that becomes a total of about 14 to 15 hours. I do work or if students are there, they study for about six to eight hours. So almost my 20, 21 hours have gone in a day, right? I'm balanced with three hours. So in these three hours, I do the commuting because I have to go up and down to the college or my home. And I go to the market, do shopping, wake up, take a bath, do brush, do everything on that part, right? So how much time is left in a day? There's hardly actually time. And that's the reason we all say, I'm very busy in life. And we are, you are actually very busy, right? So I can help students from today onwards if they really want to improve in life, how can I utilize these three? The good part, you know, about 24 hours, we all human beings on earth, till the time we are going to be on earth, we only will have 24 hours in a day. So there are certain people who are rich, who are very well settled in life, who've done excellent job in their life. And there are certain people who are poor, probably, who are not able to manage their jobs probably well, who are not able to manage their personal life. But the beauty of these 24 hours, we all have these 24 hours. If I'm able to manage these 24 hours well, I can do everything and anything on earth. Good part about this thing is I'm only I'm asking right from all the students today, out of those six to eight hours, what you're spending on your mobile phone, just take out one hour out from there. Only 60 minutes I'm asking. So spend less time on social media, which is very important in today's time. So please do that. But all I'm asking is take out one hour from there and spend that 60 minutes on something which you really want to do in life. You want to be the best fighter pilot in the world. You want to be a doctor. You want to be an engineer. You want to be the best general manager of a hotel or you want to do anything in life, one hour every day and you multiply by 365 days in a year, starting from today. In next one year, you will be 365 times more ahead, more intelligent, more smarter than any of your colleague in the world. So that's the easiest, shortest and the best way to improve yourself in life. So I'm only asking one hour off from the screen time, utilize that one hour in whatever you wish you want to be good at that. Whatever you want to accomplish in life, just spend that one hour on that particular topic on a daily basis. And actually, you don't need to go to anybody. I mean, if your faculty is busy, your colleagues are busy, your parents are busy, your mentor is busy, just type on the Google and Google will give you all the answers because you don't have your mobile on your phone, right? So utilize that in a proper manner. Uh, very interesting, you know, uh, human body is the most complex machine ever built on Earth. And this will always be the most complex machine have, which has been ever built on Earth. And we're only talking about five feet or six feet human beings, right? And check out the surprising facts. You know, our human body has 40 trillion cells in it. You know, you've got red blood cells and white blood cells. I'm going to explain you why am I talking on these things from my next slide, actually moving ahead. And how can I be the best? And you know, I keep telling people, if a room boy, what Mr. Ram just mentioned, I was a room boy. So I used to clean the rooms in the Obroid, Trident Depot, 1998, I'm talking about. Then moved to Trident Cochin, again a room boy, cleaning rooms, cleaning swimming pool. I was a laundry valet. I was a minibar assistant. I was an FMD steward. So I've done, I was, sorry, in stewarding, kitchen stewarding for three months, basically. So I've done that job and I love that job, actually. I left the job and I came back to Delhi and I didn't have a job. So I picked up the matrimonial company and I used to patch up the boy's side and the girl's side. And I loved that job for three months before, obviously, I got into the Taj Hotels as a reception. And then I obviously started moving up on that part. So, uh, sorry, a couple of more things. Uh, I failed two times in my exam during the hotel management. So that's an accomplishment for me. I became a graduate when actually I turned 40 years. So I only took 18 years to become a graduate, which if I tell somebody, they don't believe me, but I had that certificate of graduation when I actually turned 40 years. So I took only 18 years to become graduate. So I tell my students and I tell my colleagues, if I from a room boy, from a laundry valet, from a housekeeping assistant, from a matrimonial agent, failing two times, taking 18 years to become a graduate in life, if I can open up a luxury brand, which is now known well, at least in India, in a lot of parts in India, and we are competing with the best brands in the world right now. If I can become a room boy to a CEO, you guys, you students can do far better than me because you are far intelligent, you have more capabilities. So there is nothing which is impossible in life. You know, that word impossible, break it down. It tells you I am possible. You know, there is every positive things in whatever if somebody is talking negative to you. It's up to you how you take the positivity out of that thing. Now, let's come back to this, what we are talking about. So we've got 40 trillion cells in our body. You know how many zeros are there in a trillion? There are 13 zeros. So those many cells you are carrying, and you know the surprising fact, you can check it out in the Google, 
scientists have proved these things i only need around 1000 cells to light up a bulb i as a human being i can light up a bulb without wires so that's the energy what a human being has a thousand cells can light up a 100 watt bulb now imagine if you can control 40 trillion cells of your body which is inside what how much energy you as a human being are carrying 24 hours by 7 you know the focus what i'm trying to put out here is the more i try improving myself rather than trying and finding faults on others the more i become better and better in day and that's as simple as possible you need to start looking more inside rather than looking outside what other person is doing what somebody is talking about me what somebody is trying to cook behind me forget that you know because human beings will always keep doing that it's your life you only have one life to live you only have one body if you can control that if you can control there is a part between your two ears which is called as mind and that mind that brain has 40 billion cells neurons which keeps your brain alive if you can control that you can do wonders in the world you know every time in every year somebody has thought this is not possible who thought that human beings can actually go to mars who thought human beings can actually go to moon right you ask your grandfather they never imagined these things can happen but all those things have been proved now you know why because somebody has turned around things which others thought it is impossible because when people talk about impossible things it's for them impossible it's not for you because there are a lot of people who have done those things within the 24 hours even if they were in the worst of the scenario see always remember that whenever you see a person at that particular level a president a chairman a general manager a ceo or anybody at the top level or a principal please understand and ask them what all have they gone through in life right and they will tell you what have they gone through because we only see the designation of the person we don't see the person what the struggle that person has gone through and you know you can learn tons of things from the person's struggle for your own life and it's always better to do that my heart pumps as a human being i only have 5 liters of blood when i donate my blood i donate blood about 200 to probably 300 ml i don't donate beyond that right so i got 5 liters of blood but a small heart inside our body it pumps 7500 of liters of blood per day so that's the work which your heart that's the work which your organs are doing it for you every day so that's all i am talking about now a very interesting thing there is a person who is still alive his name is steve s t e v e it's on the point 10 if you guys are able to see the screen it's on point 10 now steve is the person from denmark and he's broken the guinness world of book records by holding his breath for 22 minutes without breaking his breath in between 22 minutes without taking a breath you know his book is breathology i will spell it out for you guys you can actually download it from the net it's an amazing book it's called as breath ology breathology when you open that book every third of the fourth page there is a sign called as om you know om sign in india that om sign is there in, and when i was reading this book about couple of weeks back and i was actually surprised i said why a foreigner book contains an om sign and when you start going through the reading that book that steve talks about that he was in india couple of years back and he learned this art of breathology from the indian yogis in the himalayas you know a foreigner coming to india learning the best part of the indian culture the richest part of the india we are talking about you know our culture is the best and the most richest in the world and the foreigner taking it back to the world and proving it that this can happen in the world what i'm trying to explain out here is we indians have so much of rich culture if we really want to take the best of advantage in the positive manner now what he's also proven that and you guys can check it out for yourself he said if you low, slow your breath you start living longer and it's actually a fact you know the answer is out here a whale which we know a whale is a giant obviously animal we're talking about right it takes only four breaths in a minute and the whale survives for the longest time in the world and if any pen can live more than 70 80 and 90 years of life because it takes only four breaths in a minute a turtle which can survive more than 100 years takes only four breaths in a minute a horse takes 10 minutes human takes 20 minutes so human life comes down a cat takes 30 breaths in a minute it furthers order and we know dogs life right 5 years 10 years maximum 15 years not more than 20 years because we we've seen the way the dogs breathe right it's very fast 
So the learning out here is what Steve has told the entire world. If you slow your breath, you automatically start living longer. You don't need any medicines out there. You know, uh, I've read it a very nice uh, saying. If you take your food as medicine, if you take your food as medicine, you will not have to take medicine as your food. You know, it's the same sentence, but it's vice versa. So if you start taking your food as medicine, you know what you're eating. You eat a healthy food. You stop eating, obviously, the things which are not required, the junk food and everything, or the alcohol and everything. You actually, if you take your food as medicine, then you do not need medicines for food, basically. A couple of more things. Our body changes every 11 months, and our skeleton inside our body changes after every 10 years. Uh, our length of our DNA, we all are aware. There's a DNA inside our body which has chromosomes and everything. You know, it's 10 billion miles the length. And this is all proven by scientists. You can cut your liver by 75% and your liver goes back to 100%. You know, there are 20,000 breaths you as a human being can take in a day on an average. You walk about 1 lakh 10,000 kilometers a mile in a life. Scientists are still discovering new organs. Uh, if you check out the Google right now, Last week, the scientists from Holland have discovered a new organ in the throat of human beings. So the amazing part is that, and that's the reason my topic of this slide was, a human body is the most complex because you still are discovering organs inside human body. After so much of research which has gone by the doctors and the scientists, so it's the most complex machine. If I can control this machine, if I can manage this machine, which is called as human body and mind, I can do anything on earth in any circumstances in any part of the world. Uh, you know, I keep asking people, you spend about, I would say your stomach can take about only 250 grams of food. Probably all the chefs can uh, vouch for that. Your body is 70% of your entire body is made of water. We all are aware of that part, right? I drink less of water and I actually eat more food. And that's all normal, right? But my question out here is, you know, a normal human being can survive only three days, only three days without water, and I can survive for three weeks without food. I'm repeating again, I can survive for three days without water, means water is so essential for me, and I can survive as a human being three weeks without food. But I take more food inside my body, and I take less water inside my body. So the thing which is important for me, I do less, and the thing which is least important, I actually do more. And that's the way we human beings are designed or probably uh, accustomed to that. Our brain, as I said, is 40 billion neurons and our blood vessels, you know, we have blood vessels in our body where the blood moves into. If you take out those blood vessels from the human body, the, the length of those blood vessels is 1.5 lakh kilometers. All my point of explaining this slide was, is it's so much complex inside your human body. If you're able to understand your own machine, if you're able to control your machine, if you're able to control your body, I seriously don't need anybody else around in my life. I, if I can manage better, I can manage anybody else in my life. Uh, learn how to manage your mind and power of thoughts. To be the best, you need to be to learn the best, right? Your life depends on two things. And let's. I'm going to try a lot of exercises out here only, and I'm going to leave it with the students and the faculty. You can try it at your own end. Probably it's quite. Some of them are very interesting. Your, anything that you do in your life comes out only because of two things. One, the words, and second, the images. We're all sitting out here, right? I'm talking, you guys cannot talk right now, but there are certain images which have come in your mind in the last 20 minutes. Some images developed in your mind in the last 20 minutes, right? Whatever you speak and whatever images you have come in your mind, your body starts reacting to that. If I can manage do these two things in my life, I do not need any learning. I don't need any education. I don't need any formal education or I don't need anything in life. And that's the reason I said, if a diploma holder can open up a luxury brand without being a graduate, then I'm sure everybody can, can do that also and can do much faster than me also. <clears throat> there, is, there was an experiment which was done by Dr. Masaru Imoto. Uh, you guys can Google it, check it out on your YouTube at your own ease. And I've done these experiments three times, two times at my house and one time I've done in my hotel and it's amazing experiments. You know, you cook a rice in the water, in the same water, put it into jars, the jars to be transparent, seal them off, put H on the one and L on the other one. H means hate, L means love. We all human beings get frustrated every single day. It's part of life. You cannot move away from there, right? 
whenever you get frustrated instead of taking out on the other human being take it out in the bottle in which you written h means hate and the other bottle keep talking about good things to that bottle i can guarantee you within 3 weeks and i tried this experiment in the hotel last month and i showed it to my hods 3 weeks that rice color turned it to be yellow now and the one which had mentioned as l means love it turned still kept on still white if a rice can absorb your thoughts imagine the power of your thoughts on the other human being and you know this is normal somebody scolds me in the college when we i mean i'm talking to the students when your parents when your faculty scolds you you know what reaction goes inside your heart and mind and your entire body language changes right you become red you become frustrated agitated irritated and you're like upset why has he scolded me right because of the thoughts of somebody which is your faculty which you have absorbed in that right so if those power of thoughts can create so much of difference imagine if i turn those negative thoughts into power how much power do i have inside my myself as a human being another very interesting story and this is again actually a fact you can google it was done by the new new england journal of medicine so i'm only talking about in this slide is the power of your thoughts if you can control your power of thoughts you can turn around the world around you whichever part you know i have people who keep talking about you know i am from a very poor family i am from a village i am a village boy actually this is like a village between karnal and kurukshetra you guys would not have even heard it's called as nilokheri so i have actually come from village no english speaking as i told you a room boy a laundry valet a probably matrimonial agent failed probably two times 18 years to to graduation my only thought was very simple from day one i need to manage myself forget the world what the world is doing and i need to manage my thoughts if i can manage that i don't need to worry about what's happening around me who is doing what against me or behind me so that's what i'm talking about now when i'm talking about the new journal england journal of medicine it's very interesting and it's actually a fact which has been done by the harvard business your professors and the scientists out there and it's a study you can google at your ease <clears throat> there were 180 patients who came for knee surgery 90 patients the knee surgery was done and they were given these pills medicines after that and they went home and they were fine after that 90 patients they cut the knee and they in during the operation obviously the patients were obviously unconscious because they had given the anesthesia or whatever the knee was cut the stitches were put back there was no knee replacement done and they were given these pills which were carrying sugar in it till date you can check it on the google till date those patients have not realized that actually the knee surgery has not happened you know why because the doctors told them that you know i have already done see this is the stitches and these are the medicines which you need to continue and you are absolutely fine so this and this is the hard fact of life you know if the harvard professor scientists can prove that that if i am telling somebody that you are perfectly fine and i am going to give you an example so i'll take an example of mr ram agarwal right i as a patient come to mr ram and i and mr ram is a doctor right now and i am come to mr ram and i say mr ram you know i have a pain in my leg imagine mr ram dr ram tells me kush i am sorry you know you'll have to cut your leg because there is fungus there is some algae there is some infection which is spreading all around your body you know what's going to happen inside me right if i tell somebody right now you know my doctor has told about you that you only have 24 hours in life to live you know it can be a joke but if i tell anybody right now you know what's going to happen inside your body right you will go to your family members hug them love them to the core that boss my doctor has only told that i have got 24 hours in life that's the power of thought and if mr ram says even if i have the most infectious leg and i go to mr ram as my doctor and my doctor mr ram says kush it's absolutely fine i'm giving you a couple of medicines and you'll be okay yaar after that nobody you don't need a probably leg to be cut you know i automatically will be fine because somebody is telling me and i as a sponge and absorbing those thoughts you know this is what the, the i mean you know you you have a lot of magicians in the world and you have a lot of the best people when we talk about you know i can convince somebody that's the power of your thoughts which you utilize to convince somebody and i have lived my entire professional life and actually personal life on two things there are two c's in my life i am going to give you the secret today out here one c stands for convincing and the other c stands for confusing 99% of your time you need to spend to be the best in convincing somebody you know i need to get a job a job i have gone for an interview if i am able to convince the person who is taking my interview perfectly fine right but i should be 99% perfect in convincing a human being which means 
i need to do a lot of work to improve myself my convincing skills need to be the best 1% as a human being yes if i am not able to convince somebody i need to be the best in order to confuse somebody you know with these two c's you can live your entire life we all are family members i got brother sister mother father husband wife at home i got faculty in the school and i got best friends out there what do i do right i try winning somebody's ego and i won that ego because i'm very good at that right or at times when i go for a shopping you know that shopkeeper is so smart i get confused when he says sir ab ye le lo ye na lo and the best thing happen when you take your wife along with you instead of taking a handkerchief she will take maybe 10 different sarees but she'll still ask you is that right or this that wrong because that's that's what the human being is all about we and we all know that especially the married people can only understand these things okay my exercise to all my students faculty out here let's take a ram sir would you help me to understand what is this this is a uh, 10 rupees perfect sir and what is the value of this rupee sir can i buy a toffee or some chips out of these 10 rupees absolutely so you are a shopkeeper and i am coming to you right sir now look what i am doing out here so what am i doing out here yeah i'm crushing it right i'm putting lot of pressure on this right, right. you've seen it right i'm just opening it right sir now so what is the rupee now this how much is it now sir this is the same same thing. 10 rupees now this this is not a torn note will you still give me the same chips and wafers and chocolates and cookies sir yes absolutely the value remains same right right you know the learning for all my students out of this in a personal life i should behave like this 10 rupee note i have put lot of pressure on this 10 rupee note right has it lost its value it hasn't lost its value so if somebody is putting pressure on me somebody is pulling me down pushing me down talking all rubbish against me why am i losing my value if a non living being has not lost its value who am i to talk about losing my value so guys it's up to you to ensure that you do not give this right to somebody in your life to reduce your value in life right one exercise probably i want all my students to do starting from today i'm going to give you seven days challenge in this seven days challenge and i can guarantee you starting from today on my position if you take this seven days challenge and you come out of this challenge of what i'm asking you i can guarantee you you can do anything or not anywhere in the world so the challenge is in the next seven days you will not talk any negative word so no cannot i will not impossible mujhe nahi hoga main nahi karunga anything and everything you will not use a negative word verbally and non verbally you will not write a negative word you will not send an email which carries a negativity you will not send an sms whatsapp call speak anything do your body language cannot show a negative your face cannot show negative thing you know this is the most challenging task of your life which will happen now if you accept this challenge for the next 7 days and you know why because ask somebody ask your friends today after this session ask them to do an exercise for you tell them find out all the negative words which have you have in your mind and to the other friend of your tell them tell me all the positive things you what you have in your mind words you know a normal human being will always tell you more negative words than the positive words and that's a fact you can try it on your own because we human beings absorb more negativity than positivity and that's how we become more negative and that's an example of the rupee which i wanted to tell you and the seven days challenge it's very easy to see and remember but it's the toughest task of your life which you will you know you will get irritated what i'm telling you right now because you're going to ta- talk negative you're going to m- mention something negative that no i'm sorry i will not do i will not come this is not done and you cannot do that because kush has told you you cannot use negativity for the next 7 days you know what's going to happen your mind will start boss if it's not a negative what word can i use now so you automatically will have to start using a positive word which means your brain is designed to start thinking positive which you've not been able to do till date only 7 days and i have do these exercises with my hods and i have given them the exercise for last 3 months 
you know, they, none of them have come back to me that boss, I have been able to manage that task. The beauty of this is the moment you suppose you one day you went without a negative talk or a body language on negative thing. Second day, the moment it comes, your seven days again start from there. So it will only happen when this entire seven days goes without a negative talk, without a body language, without anything. The moment one thing happens, comes one word comes in your mind also, you will start the seven days again. So try this out and let's meet probably later on. One more exercise for all my students, the power of thoughts, you know what you can do with your mind. And if you can do that with your mind, you can do anything on earth. We all have seen lemons, right? So I'll leave it. I don't want to see the students right now. So I'm just uh, assuming students are all seeing me and watching me right now. Close your eyes. Keep a lemon in your hand, guys. Half lemon, half cut lemon. Squeeze that lemon in your hand. Close your eyes. All the students, please. Put this lemon in your mouth and feel the lemon taste in your mouth. I'm sure Mr. Ram and Mr. Senwal is also feeling that lemon in, in their mouth right now. Are you feeling that taste of lemon in your mouth? Now open your eyes and open your hand. Was there a lemon outside? There was no lemon, guys. But only because I was talking, I made you feel that lemon inside your mouth. And I'm sitting few hundred kilometers away from you right now, right? So I can control your mind sitting so distance from here. Imagine if I see you face to face, what exactly can I do with you? No, no, I'm not going to change you into a cat or a rat or a mouse. Don't worry on that part. But I'm just trying to say that if you feel something inside your mind, you can actually make it happen. And on my last slide, I'm going to tell you how you can become what you really want to become. And there is never a late. I can start my career even if I'm 50 years old. So please, whoever thinks that I'm too late in my life to start my career or start my probably hobby, or do the thing which I always want to do, there is never a delay. There is never a time. The time starts whenever you feel like doing that. So please don't think age is a barrier. Age is never a barrier, guys. Uh, please, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to see the students right now, but any student who is interested, you know, we have a lot of fear factor. I have a fear factor of lizard. I have a fear factor of cockroach, rat, mice, snail, snake, reptile. And I have a fear factor that I cannot do this job. I'm just letting all the students know I need only two minutes of yours after the session. Whoever is interested, I'm more than happy. Or maybe I can do another session next time if the faculty allows me to do that. I will only take two minutes. I mean, I will remove that fear factor from your mind forever in your life. Forever. So if you have a fear factor of a snake, I will take two minutes and you will never be afraid of snake in your entire life. So that's just will take two minutes for me to do that. You know, we've spoken a lot of about mind and thoughts and everything. You've heard very simple, right? If you get the garbage in, you only can take the garbage out, right? You get the negative things in, you only can get negative things out. It's a simple logic. Imagine if I'm taking the alcohol in, my body is only going to get spoiled, right? But if I take a clean water in, I only obviously will be more healthy. So that's a simple logic. So whatever you take in mind, you take it out. Uh, Anup sir, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. I'm giving you 86,000 seconds to leave, right? Or I'm giving you 86,000 rupees to enjoy in those last last day of your life. Which one will you choose, sir? Sir, I will choose to live. Okay, super. Because, because, because please I can answer, make please. money uh, when I'll be alive. Excellent. So my point, what I'm trying to explain out here, thank you, sir. You answered it correctly. <clears throat> Guys, I got 86,400 seconds in a day. Any human being in 24 hours, there are 86,400 seconds. It's up to me, how do I leave those seconds? Every second counts. And you know, the moment this second has gone, you, I, or anybody on earth cannot bring that second back. So whenever you're thinking next time, please think whether you're thinking positive or negative. And I've given you this exercise. You know, a lot of people keep asking me, how do I change these negative thoughts? Kush, I'm not able to come out of my negativity. And I tell them, guys, just take this seven days challenge. And whenever you're able to manage the seven day challenge, you automatically will be different. You know, you will not realize, but your people, your family, your friends, your faculty, your students will realize because they will find a change. They will see a difference in you as a human being. Uh, negative versus positive house, we've discussed on that. You know, try removing these things, you know, because I cannot do that. You know, if I don't want to do that, you know, but I cannot do that, you know, but difficult. Remove these things and see the sentence, the balance sentence. The balance sentence is always a positive sentence. That's that's all we are talking about here. 
you ask me a negative question and i will always answer you a negative answer only you ask me a positive question and i always give you a positive question you know it happens in our families when somebody ask me a negative question i automatically be because that my ego comes out because of negativity but if somebody ask me a positive how are you today yeah i'm fine i'm good thank you thank you for asking at least on that part that's how it works okay learn to improve to be your own competition anything what you want to look at competition guys a simple mantra from me whatever competition you want to see get a mirror in your house your room or your bathroom whenever you want to see a competitive person look in that mirror you need to be beating that person who were you as yesterday so you know whatever you've done yesterday it's gone forget it make sure you do something better than what you did yesterday so that's your competition so what you did yesterday as a person was your competition now you want to do better so take yourself as a competitor rather than looking at somebody else in the world that who is your competitor you only need to improve what you did yesterday and that's the easiest and the faster way you just keep moving up you know i've designed a uh, probably a better meaning for a word fear and a failure so if you see on the point number 4 for me you know fear is what it's actually false evidence appearing real you know you take a small child uh, we all have children in our homes right or whenever i was child somebody switches off the light in my room i used to scream yell and i used to run out right there is nothing there is no ghost out there there is nobody who's there but there is somebody who's put it in my head right from day one you know when there is a darkness whenever you go to graves the ghost come out but i'm sorry nobody has seen that we all have heard from each other and that's what has gone inside my eye there are tons of snake species which are non poisonous if you guys are aware of that part but i as an individual has only got thing boss snakes bite and you will get killed if the snake bites you know because that something has been put in my head right from day one you know i as a student i as a faculty if you remember maybe take a maybe take a 10 seconds close your eyes and just think when i was growing you know my relatives used to tell my family and my family at times used to tell me you know mera bachcha itna मतलब अच्छा पढ़ाई में नहीं है यू नो दी अदर्स यू सी एट द नेबर्स पर्सन नेबर्स चाइल्ड उनकी लड़की उनका लड़का है इसको 90 परसेंट या दे सो इंटेलिजेंट नो दिस माई पर्सन विल नेवर माई बॉय विल नेवर ग्रो टू बी अ डॉक्टर यू नो डॉक्टर के लिए पैसा बहुत चाहिए डॉक्टर के लिए बहुत पढ़ना पड़ता है इंजीनियर के लिए तो सारी रात दिन रात पढ़ना है ये नहीं पढ़ पाएगा ये नहीं पढ़ता उतना यू नो दो स्टॉक्स वॉट दिस दो स्टॉक्स डेट इट वेंट इन टू माई हेड अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन एंड यू नो वॉट आई रियलाइज ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम Boss, I cannot study so much because doctor को इतना पढ़ना पड़ता है. Engineers have to study a lot, so I cannot become a doctor and engineer in life. You know, so I kept on absorbing those talks, which they were not telling actually in the true sense, but they were just talking. And nobody realizes when you are with this set of people. So I'm not trying to obviously uh, disrespect anybody out here, but I'm trying to say check your company, guys, in which what set of people you are in. if you are with negative people you i can guarantee you will only get negative stuff inside you if you are with positive people you automatically will get positive stuff inside you so false evidence appearing real is what fear is all about and second is failure you know failure is a bad word i'm sorry failure is a very good word guys listen to that failure for me stands for i am fast i am aggressive i am intelligent and i am a learner so i am fast aggressive intelligent learner a learner means i always keep learning so a failure means i fail at something but i have learned from that failure and i am learning again now to become better so don't take if somebody is telling you you are a failure yes tell them i am a failure because i am a fast i am aggressive and i am an intelligent learner so that's what you need to do so negative words can always be turned around as positive words right uh you do you see, you see a donut right a donut is there a hole in the donut or there is a donut around the hole so keep thinking you know it's like a chicken and an egg it's like a glass half filled or a glass half full or a glass half empty so the point what i'm trying to explain is out here if i really keep looking at negative things nobody can stop me on earth but if i start looking at positive things again nobody can stop me on earth because it's my thinking it's my thought we all know right you are not come with anything in your hands and you are going go empty with your hands so what's the all fuss about right what is the ego all about just enjoy make life simple and this is what i said in the beginning also right life is very simple guys we make it complicated and we all know 
I am a CEO today, right? I make a, might become a chairman tomorrow. I'm not going to be a CEO throughout my life, or I might change my stream of life, right? But I will never be a CEO throughout my life. So either I keep boasting of this position, or I keep learning what more do I need to learn, and I improve further. So anything in your life will never ever be permanent. Anything what you are in, what you do, is always temporary. Probably my, one of the last screens. Probably, uh, just a couple of things, Ram sir. What is this, Ram sir? It's a bottle of water, sir. Sir, can you ask me a couple of questions from this bottle about this bottle? Uh, about the water, sir. How much water is? Perfect. So let me help you, sir. How much water is in the bottle? Why is this color pink? Why is the shape of this bottle this? Why is this cap circular? Is this water drinkable? What is the life of this bottle? What is the life of this water? Is this mineral water or is this alkaline water? What is this ISI stands for? Who is given this sign? How much do I get it in the hotel? To whom from where I get it in the hotel? How many bottles do I consume in a day, sir, in the hotel? How many bottles do I store in the hotel, sir? What time does these bottles came to the hotel, sir? I can go on and on and on, sir. You know what I am trying to explain? Learning is in your hands. it's self education what i'm trying to put across on all my students today guys i can ask you 40 different questions in one minute about this water bottle anybody telling me kush i don't know what to learn in life i'm sorry it's self education which will make you anybody and anybody what you want in life a water bottle if i can learn 40 questions and i only need to type on google and google will give me all answers on that part so then who am i waiting for to help me to learn here if nelson mandela mr nelson mandela was in jail for 27 years and he comes out and he becomes president of south africa 27 years if i go into jail for one year i'll be dead because i'll be demotivated frustrated and i'm done a guy spends 27 years inside the jail comes out and becomes a president of the country there are people with positive thoughts who can turn around the things in their life another thing somebody says you know i really want to grow i really want to learn something what do i learn you know i ask them do you have the best handshake when you handshake with somebody do you think you have the best handshake in the world if not try spending time and develop that do you think you have the best smile in the world if not try developing the best smile in the world you know you have the best body language in the world if not then try developing the best body language in the world spend time on yourself rather than spending time on somebody there is so much to improve on yourself you know when i'm pointing finger to you the rest of the three fingers are pointing towards me so the more i point to you the more actually i'm pointing towards me the negativity so remember this always and be careful what you're doing out there my last thing sorry to everybody which i promise you guys right i'm asking you these four questions anybody who has an answer to these four questions i am happy to help that person in their entire life to grow better in fastest in life first what do you want to become rather there are three questions i would say what do you become you want to become a life so make sure you know very clearly what you become a life i want to become a prefer principal i want to become a professor i want to become a doctor engineer best fighter pilot best cricketer best general manager best ceo in the world so this is done you've decided what you want to become second question you know what are the steps you have to take to become that person and by when do you know you will be able to become that person so i take 20 years and these are the steps fair enough you need to be very clear in life last question which is very interesting you know what you have to sacrifice and give up to become that person you know i'll have to leave my social life i might have to take out a lot of my family life my personal life because if i have to become a fighter pilot which is the best in the world i have to take out the fear factor i have to spend in the training time in the training with which i'll not have time to spend with my friends family brother sisters and whatever i have to go through a lot of hardships in life you know that's the reason i said three word three things three questions in life guys be you need to make sure what do you want to become in life once you've set that goal you need to be very clear how much time do you think and what process you think you have to follow to become that person and last but not the least what do you have to give up to become that person if you know the answer for these three questions trust me nobody on earth can stop you on becoming what you can want to become in life it's that simple for me sorry if i've taken a lot of time and these are my uh, probably contact details email id anybody who's interested i'm more than happy to help somebody
on phone only. I'm sure probably, probably coming out there or coming somebody out here is always difficult. But I'm more than happy to help people out there, all the students and anybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your time today. Any questions? If I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions from anybody. I would like to thank you, Mr. Kapoor, for the wonderful presentation. Now, with your permission, we would like to start with our question and answer session. Sure, sir. <clears throat> As you are from the hotel industry, most of the questions are from the PHM students only, sir. Please, please. The first question is from Mohammed Atisham. He wants to know what are the emerging trends in hospitality industry and how a hotel management student can keep him updated with these emerging trends. Uh, two things, as I said, thanks for Mohammed for asking these questions. Uh, first of all, emerging trends, as, I, as you've asked for me, <clears throat> you know, there are right now in the world, the hotels, the companies are merging together with each other. Uh, there are a lot of hotels companies who are doing partnership with each other. So that's a new trend which is coming in. Uh, right now, what I always tell people also, for me, there are very two simple things to answer your question, basically. How can I'm going to ask you to answer your second uh, question first, basically. How, uh, what do I need to do? Two three things, you need to be very good in your networking. Now, networking doesn't mean you contact everybody in the entire world. Contact the right person who can be your mentor to take you on the right path. So that's one networking. Networking also means that you utilize the social media, which is, as I said, is very important, but don't spend overtime on the social media. So connect with somebody and follow somebody who really helps you to grow in, in, in your own stream. And you can be in any industry for that matter on that part. Coming back to your first question, interesting fact. Now in hotel, there were rooms, always there was FNB always. Now FNB and rooms factor has become completely innovative. You know, we just are not selling rooms. We are selling rooms with packages, which we guys have never even worked earlier. So we are merging those packages together and selling you as a customer, those packages. Now, second, as I said, my segment, which is your social wedding, socials, events, and everything is going to come heavily in India. And I'm going to give you this very interesting fact. You know, Indian travelers are the second largest travelers in the world right now after Chinese travelers. The good part about this COVID, you know what has happened? And I always talk, as I said, about positive things. You know how many weddings happens in a year? Anup, sir, any exam, any thought? How many weddings happens in, the, in India in a year? A lot, sir, a lot. Just, just give me one example, sir. One, maybe, uh, in, maybe, in, in, maybe in lakhs. Sir, there are one crore weddings happen in India every single year. One crore. You know the amount of business which they generate? 70,000 crore rupees, 75,000 crore rupees. Sir, these one crore weddings and these 75,000 crore rupees is not going to go out of India, you know, because of COVID. Nobody's going to travel for the next couple of months. Yeah. So which means this business is going to be in India, which means you need smart people. As I mentioned, you need innovative people who can get into the event management, who can get into the small hotels with outstanding event management facilities and you are going to be a short shot winner out there. So the negativity right now is actually a positivity for us Indians right now into hotels. And you can actually make a lot of money out of that right now. Yes. Thanks for the answer, sir. The next question is from Reena Bist. She wants to know what future lays ahead for hospitality industry post COVID-19 pandemic. Maybe I, I guess I already answered that, right? So they're just two examples. Yeah, yeah. Are the largest travelers in the world? They're not going to travel abroad. They will travel in India right now. Yes. So if you are a hotelier, if you're really good, if you're really smart in your work, trust me, you can earn money like crazy stuff. And the last question is from Mr. Uh, Apik. He wants to know what qualities a beginner should possess to succeed in hotel industry. Thank you. Just two things are on this. For me, the quality. When I interview somebody, I always look out for these two things. One, make sure you have a right attitude. You know, I can get, I can hire a PhD holder in my hotel, but if that PhD holder does not know how to get the job done, does not get the results for me, I'm sorry that education, that qualification is useless for me. Yes. If Kush Kapoor as a diploma holder can open up a luxury brand in India, this is what I'm talking about. You need to have a right attitude. Wherever you are, if you have a right attitude, trust me, nobody on earth can stop you in becoming, in doing what you want to do. And second, and this is what I was talking through the entire topic, right? Believe in yourself and manage yourself better. If you are able to control yourself, so a right attitude, a positive mind frame, and if you're able to manage yourself, 
you don't need anybody you don't need a mentor you don't need anybody to train you for that thank you very much sir as we come towards the end of this webinar i would like to thank mr kush kapoor for an informative webinar i am sure students have tr truly enjoyed this webinar and gained a valuable insight into best tips in the life to be the best the students would get inspired by your journey from a room boy to a ceo of a hotel group mr kapoor you are a prime example of hard work and motivation and it can make you achieve the impossible in life which is i am possible right thank you thank once you sir. thank you so much thanks thank you once again for taking out the time thank you for this webinar our last but not the least students of hit for joining this webinar in the thank end you. i would like to invite honorable director ma'am mrs arsuna jasola for a vote of thanks craft ma'am uh, it's not yet noon sir two minutes left right. so good morning good morning <laughs> good morning uh, uh, distinguished guests mr kapoor uh, good morning learned faculty members and my dear students uh, i'm i would like to thank first of all to mr kapoor for uh, giving his uh, precious time to us he's a very busy man students and uh, still he has given his time to us and what a wonderful webinar what a wonderful webinar i must say sir that you are a very good orator thank you we are grateful we are grateful we are honored that we have been part of this webinar i'm sure student must have uh, learned from your anecdotes and uh, your experiences and whatever you have shared with us i can still feel, uh, feel the taste of lemon okay. in my mouth so it was very wonderful and students uh, whatever he says uh, i would also like to add one more thing that uh, mr kapoor is a successful man today because of the hard work the hard work which he has put in so he is a very good example of the saying that uh, success belongs to those who work hard and there are no shortcuts for hard work and uh, sir we have saved your numbers thank you even, thank you. even uh, i am scared of so many things <laughs> okay. i am definitely going to call you how did you help help you to help and, on that uh, great sir i am honored thank you very much thank you ma'am thank you so much thanks okay. once again thank you Stay thank safe. you thank you